So, I did the damn thing, and I just decided to buy another no pressure vinyl from a store so I could do an unboxing. So we're gonna go do our pickup and bring home a vinyl to show you guys. The amount of money that I've spent though, like honestly, this will be fun. So I'm wearing my Raised Hell t-shirt, the jeans that I just got in my Target haul that went up today actually, if you guys want to go check it out. I think it's cute. I usually do a little more to my face, but since I'm actually going out in public, I just put lashes on because you wear a mask anyway, who cares. We're going to go to Duncan and we're going to go to Target because I need to get a hamper. And then we're gonna pick up our vinyl. Let me know if you guys like me doing like these little like vlog things at the beginning of these unboxings or if you prefer it when I just do the regular unboxing, but I kind of like vlogging. I think it's a little more fun. Hi, are you guys doing the sugar plum macchiato? Yes. Okay, can I get a large one of those please? Is that hot or iced? Iced, please. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, can I also get an order of the plain bagel minis? Okay. And a strawberry donut, please. This new drink is so good. The sugar plum macchiato. I don't know how it would be hot. I feel like it wouldn't be as good. Like a hot fruit? Oh. Alright, we're just waiting on your drink. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I prefer not to have a whipped cream. No, okay. Is that okay? I'm sorry. I feel bad. Here you go. Thank you Hope so much. <laughs> have a good day. You too. I just whipped cream on iced coffee. I don't know. I know people get that, but it doesn't sound like my thing. At least it wasn't like me giving it back and saying that something was wrong because I'm more self-conscious about that type of stuff. Look at how pretty it is and it's purple. Oh, so good. You have to mix it up. Today at Target. And close my eyes and I Jesus. It's only $10. That's fantastic. Ah, I just checked in on the app so they can bring me my goods. Oh, it says they're coming out with my order to have my four digit code ready. Oh, I think she's coming. Oh, I forgot to put a mask on. That's okay. I see it. Hi. Yeah, 6128. Yep, you right here? Yes. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Uh, we got the goodies. All right, I should get out of this parking spot because it's like super busy and I don't want to be in there curbside if I don't have to. There's a car behind me. I'm just trying to get out of here. I know. Oh, don't stop right there. Keep going. You have room. Oh my goodness. People forgot how to fucking drive. Alright. We're going 
gonna go this way. One thing I don't like that they do is they slap a sticker on it. Oh, it's a gatefold. How much you wanna bet that the inside image, ooh, that was convenient, is just the extension of this like color like the CD was. Let me try and get this damn sticker off. Can't be exposing my my card info and my name. Oh, ooh. so sorry, Bar. This air freshener needs to get out of my way. My seatbelt. Great, now there's somebody pulling up next to me. But now there's a car next to me and they're staring at me, but that's fine. So it's no pressure logic. Put the sticker up here. It's a double LP, it's a gatefold. We're gonna open it at home, so I debate on opening it in the parking lot, but fuck that because there's, it's too busy. But it was $24.99. Just gonna take it home. And we'll unbox it there. I can't believe I went in and out of Target in like five minutes. Not even. And literally left with just a hamper. Go me. And it was only $10, and it's like kinda cute and matches our dining room. We love them. Oh, that probably actually wasn't safe to do that to the record. Sorry for the annoying glare. Ooh. But it's my lighting because I'm a cheap person and I use a literal like $10 lamp, like a floor lamp. So we're back home. We got the vinyl here and we're gonna unbox it, see if there's anything else inside, let you guys see what the gatefold is. I have unboxed uh, his records before. I know I did a video on the Everybody vinyl. I did one on the Supermarket vinyl, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind vinyl. I don't know if I did one on the Young Sinatra 4 vinyl, but I know I did those. So if you guys wanna watch those, you can go see them on the channel and they should be in my Logic playlist if you guys wanna check that out as well. But the only thing cool on the front of it here is the little sticker that says no pressure logic. On the side, it says logic no pressure. And then on the back, it's the same as the CD with the track list. So you can see what side A, B, C, and D have. And then up here, you can see this was $24.99. Again, I did get this at Best Buy. I now checked the website and it is on back order. So if you order it, uh, it says that you won't get it until January, I think. I think it might have even said January. If you order it, you're not gonna get it until next year. So it doesn't really do you any favors in case you guys are trying to get this because of all the stuff going on with UMG right now. I decided to order this because I had ordered multiple vinyl to do giveaways. So I figured uh, worst comes to worst, I can always sell one of the ones that I get later on um, just for like retail value, like $25, get that money back from this video. And then I can still do the giveaways with the other ones since I already have my own copy. And that's why I decided it was beneficial for me to go ahead and pick this up because it allows me to make this content sooner for you guys. And for anybody that's still waiting and you know you can't afford to get another one somewhere else, you guys can see what you have to look forward to once yours does come in the mail. This is also available on Amazon. It is the same price on Amazon. It's $24.98, I believe, on Amazon, so it's a penny cheaper. But it is also back ordered on Amazon now, and it says that it won't ship until December 19th as of recording this video. It looks like they're still like doing limited pressings for this, or they're releasing it slowly in batches. I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but if you guys are interested in picking one up, the best way to do it is to do Best Buy and then just see if there's a store near you that has it and you can do the curbside pickup because that's what I did. I have also seen that Walmarts were getting these, but I checked my Walmart and I did not see it. And then 
obviously if you can please support your local record stores I was gonna pick this up from my local record store because I have been in contact with them about this um, they were supposed to get it in a shipment two days ago but we're having a lot of issues going on with our post offices due to COVID outbreaks um, some of them are actually like shut down so the mail is getting delayed here their shipment is behind and they don't know when it's gonna come in so I decided to just do it from Best Buy and use my Best Buy card to get the points. All right, enough of that jazz. Let's go ahead, slice this thing open. See if the gatefold is just gonna be this background extended. I think it will be because that's what the CD was on the inside. The only sad thing about gatefolds is that means I have to take the whole plastic off. Y'all already know I like to keep my plastic on, but see called it and then it is printed on the inside I think they did this with the confessions of a dangerous mind LP2 right here it says no pressure credits.com so you can go there and see like the producer information um, instrumentals uh, writing all that jazz on that little link there but I don't see any posters or like download codes or anything So it is just a black vinyl. I think it would have been really cool to do an orange pressing. I think it would have been more beneficial and I think people would have been a little less upset about this coming to retailers and stuff before them getting it because, oh my god, what happened there? Oh, it's just a piece of vinyl. If the merch store one was like an exclusive variant that you could only get on the merch store. So it would have been cool if they were all like orange colored. It just says no pressure logic and then it's got the track information here and it's the orange background. The side's a little bit of a lighter orange color. The white balance is being thrown off, but this is the light orange and then that's all the dark. This side's all dark except for this little light part here. So they're a little bit different. Not much to it. It's pretty simple. I'm, I'm kind of sad to be honest about the CD and this because it's his final album that they didn't do like a really cool inner artwork or given us like a little paper with the credits and the lyrics and like a thank you note or anything. It's kind of sad, but it's okay because we still got some physical formats of this album and he did say, I think for, which one was it? Oh, Young Sinatra 4. He said that that was going to be his last physical release that he wasn't gonna do CDs anymore I don't know if he said vinyl or anything but he said that was gonna be his last physical release and then Confessions of a Dangerous Mind uh, had a physical format for the UK on CD and then it came out on vinyl and then Supermarket was pressed on vinyl and then this was available on CD cassette and vinyl so that's kind of crazy. Oh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind was on cassette too. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to pick it up from another retailer or uh, your luck with UMG. Have you gotten your vinyl shipped? Do you have any tracking information? Find the positives and enjoy being dragged out since it's the last one. So I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>